Hey folks, in today's video we are going to see one of the common errors in MS Excel. For example, if I want to create a new column, I am trying to create insert, but I am getting an error. It says Microsoft Excel can't insert new cells because it would push non-empty cells off the end of worksheet. So if at all you are getting this kind of an error, go to the right, right extreme side of the sheet. For example, you can press Control right arrow, it will take you to the farthermost column of the MS Excel. You can check for any value, formula or any blank space. So here I have a small X here, let me delete it and then going back to my source. Now I am trying to create a new column. Yes, it is allowing me. This is option number one, the possibility number one. So now let us try to insert a small blank space here. So on a high level, it is not evidently seen. However, let us check whether the Excel is recognizing the blank or not. Let us try to create again a new column. Yes, I'm getting the same error. So which means not only value, but also blank cells plays a role here. Let us check the third option. Few people want to highlight only the header. So instead of selecting only the cells, they simply select the entire row and click the formatting like this. If this is a scenario, then if I try to create a new column, again, I will get the same error. Why? Because we are applying the form, we are applying the color for all the cells here till the last ever column. So please don't make this kind of a mistake. So we should apply the borders or fill the colors only to the relevant range, but like this, yeah. So now if I try to create a new column, it will allow me. So similarly, if at all you are not able to insert any new row, go to the last ever row and then see, do we have any formula or blank spaces or any values here? So if you are getting this kind of an error, so please apply these strategies so that it will be easy for you. So kindly share this video with your friends and colleagues. Thank you.